say for the first two years I did stand up, I had like crippling nausea and like horrible um, anxiety surrounding doing shows. Um, and that has subsided some. I still get a little butterflies in my stomach be right before I'm about to go on stage, but my nervousness was usually due to um, fear of not remembering a joke or like forgetting it halfway through, which I've done before, definitely on stage. And I'm like, guys, I don't even know how to keep going with this. So then I just move on. When a woman has sex with a man, like a human man, <laughs> a hormone is released in her brain called oxytocin, which makes her become emotionally attached to that man. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> it's like my brain is trying to roofie me. I'm like, I don't like that guy. And my brain's like, well, you had sex with him, so yeah, you do. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but he doesn't even have an iPhone. <laughs> it takes anywhere from, you know, I can have a joke ready in a day, or sometimes I tell it and it kind of evolves over the course of a few months, and then, uh, you know, it, it may take longer, but usually it's like when I have a bud of an idea, I can usually pretty quickly uh, formulate it into like a pretty polished joke. I got started doing stand-up, uh, I want to say around three, three and a half years ago. I was living in New York City at the time, and I had this habit of anyone who um, approached me, if there's like a guy in a bar who approached me, and I didn't really want to talk to him and I wasn't that interested in him, I would make up the like fake identities for myself and be like, my name is Maria and I do stand-up comedy and I was always telling people that I did stand-up comedy and they believed it so I was like, well maybe I should just do it <laughs> and give it a shot. So uh, I enrolled in a stand-up comedy class with Manhattan Comedy School and I took the class and I discovered this this awesome thing of doing stand-up. Titanic is about a ship that commits a spectacular suicide because of all the boring love shit that happens. Write <laughs> <laughs> things down. I, some comedians just don't ever write, and they just they're like, oh, I have an idea of what I'm gonna say. I think I know what my joke is. I'm like, how do you know? You didn't write it down, and it just baffles me. So I recommend writing and just practice writing. Um, introducing yourself to people uh, who are in the scene, uh, making yourself known, make, showing your face around open mics and going to shows and just, you know, familiarizing yourself with the community and um, just, and to be funny. For me at least, the hardest thing is to remember what order I'm supposed to tell all my jokes in or, you know, how that joke, what the punchline is. Uh, so that's where the nerves kind of come from. That and not knowing whether or not the audience is going to like you or not. But, you know, who cares about that? <laughs>